Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Barl, and today I'm kind of excited because finally, out of nowhere, I mean, they said two weeks, and it was two weeks, technically, December 7th, uh, they released, uh, Lenovo released for the Legion Go right now, a official BIOS that one could get. We all know about the 6G that it, it it's coming out, but there's a few things that they added to it. This is not the most exciting, uh, you know, update. I am happy to know that there's things that are added. Of course, Gyro is still not, uh, you know, they're working on it, uh, which is one of uh, the things that I really wanted. And of course, the dead zones, which I know, and fan curves, which I know many of us right here uh, are kind of waiting for that. So this isn't the most exciting update, but at least we got now 6G that we could actually operate here. And that's something that I was looking forward to, to have an official release, even though I had it with the with the betas, which I didn't recommend because you guys saw many people even commented and even people uh, that I know that had issues with that and actually bricked their systems and had to rejuvenate it again. <laughs> so uh, I wanted to take some time, test it out. I'm not one of those reviewers, like I told you, that releases day one just to tell you the news, which is common sense. I wanted to actually put it through the test and see how the heck this thing works. So let's see how the heck this thing does. So let's get to it. <music> Okay, guys, so right after you install the BIOS, it's going to shut off. You hit the power button and the up button at the same time. For those guys that don't know about this yet, I'm just letting you guys know. Okay, and then you go to BIOS setup, not boot, but actually here. Okay, then you go to more settings. And now we're going to see all of the new stuff that is actually in this BIOS, this official BIOS release. So you go to configuration. All right, so you're going to see already some things here that are different. For example, now 6G is permitted. It goes all the way to 8G, but 8G kind of sucks. So 6G is finally enabled. So officially, so you don't have to, you know, I know a lot of people had issues with that and had all kinds of issues that were even horrific things that I've heard uh, that uh, some of you guys actually wrote on the channel and on Reddit and a bunch of other things. So you could see right here, 6G is enabled right here. Now, there are some things that uh, is told here. See here, disable battery. Now, this is a very, very important thing. I just want to make a mention really, really quick. I know there's a lot of people that do the up, uh, upgrade. I'm going to show you guys an upgrade video as well. Uh, I'm just waiting for something new to come out instead of just the you know usual run of the mill. But if you guys look over here, this is something you need to do. Now, before, oh, sorry, before you update... Oh, before you update, you see this? You need to enable, okay, uh, t t sorry, temporarily disable battery for servicing. And what I mean by updating, I mean when you're upgrading, sorry, not updating. When you're upgrading your um, your hard drive or anything that you want to do on it that, you know, has to do with you opening the chassis and so on and so forth. You want to disable the battery first. So this is an option that nobody really puts into their videos, but this is very, very essential that you need to, that you need to do. Now, it's not, you know, nothing's going to happen because the second you plug it in, it undoes that and everything is, you know, ready to go. But it's just when you open it just to be safe, it disables the battery right there and then. Okay, so that's good that this is there. Now, here's the new ones right here. So you'll see thermal mode. Select different thermal control modes from balance. So this we already have in our GUI. So custom, but of course we have custom one and custom two, but performance, quiet, and so on and so forth. Okay. Now on here, one key, battery. Okay. One key battery is enabled, disabled. One key battery is disabled. Okay, here we go. Bio self healing, I believe, was there. I'm not sure totally. Charging speed, this is brand new. So you see it's stuck on slow. I like keeping it that way. But again, you have medium or fast. So fast, maintain, maintain high charging speeds under high loading. Medium, maintain medium charging speed under high loading. Slow is limit charging uh, speed under high loading. Now, based on my test, I'm going to tell you something. And there's a reason why I have it on slow. I like that they give you that option, but I've realized something. The Blackmagic Cinema Camera and Blackmagic Production Camera 4K, this is like in 2000 and. Uh, 
2013, 2014. If you actually plug it in, you're not going to get enough juice uh, to charge, even though it charges it. You're not going to get enough juice to charge it all the way to 100% while playing a game and certainly not fast at all. So this kind of gives you that option. Now, there's a there's a reason why I have it on slow. I prefer not to play any game while it's hooked up because, A, you're kind of damaging the battery. Now, they don't tell you this because, you know, it's just, you know, the, the fact they had the slow is a good thing. But then when they started to put in fast and medium, I understand some people don't want to wait to charge it for 30 minutes. As I showed you guys, a perfect uh, charger. With, uh, within 30 minutes, you could charge it to uh, 50% or something like that. Uh, nobody wanted to wait. They wanted to just have it in a continuous charge and just charge it forever and ever and ever instead of waiting till it's 100% and then putting the charger and then you could just play it uh, hooked up. The thing is, when you do it slow, it actually uh, is better for the longevity of the battery, if that makes any sense. When you're doing it really fast, like the iPhone has or, you know, the Samsung uh, uh what is it, uh, S series or the Fold series, my my phone, it does the same exact thing. It actually goes fast. And what happens is eventually through time, the battery starts to, you know, not be able to hold the charge and the cells start to die. Now, this isn't really proven in a handheld system. I'm sure it'll still last for the duration of any system, which is four to five years, especially now where it's like three years. So uh, before a new, you know, upgraded system comes along, so like a console or whatever. But this thing is a $800 system. I really want to try to get as much as juice possible in the long run of course you could replace the battery eventually you're going to see them all over the place and whatnot but um you know the thing is it, with slow you're just getting better maintenance battery maintenance there you go that's the word i'm looking for so i rather keep it on slow it is cool that they give you the option now to do it on medium or fast so that's you know it is what it is. I don't really care. Uh, increased external uh, st uh, compatibility by enable to increase external comp uh, compatibility. You have that option right now. This is the thermal right here. STT, S-T-A-M-P. So let's just see here. And as you see, oh, sorry. Now, this is another cool thing. Maximum memory data clock speed. Okay, so uh, specifies the maximum me uh, memory target speed so right here you have that option to go to 6400 or 7500 so i like that they included that even though i'm keeping it on, <laughs> on that uh this is enable uh cpu uh core numbers you now have the power to control it i don't think it was in the other one but now you have that option uh smt enabled or disabled enable or disable symmetric multi-threading smt mode so i know a lot of you guys had problems before uh putting that on and of course uh the gui uh the lenovo uh legion space corrected that and then everybody was able to do it but now you could do it actually on bios so that's pretty freaking cool and uh, let's see what they did on security here. So here we go, hard disk password. Uh, you could actually get out of that now. Uh, let's see, AMD platform, uh, security password enabled. Uh, cl uh, clear, let me see here, enable AMD security processor, disable AMD platform processor, uh, clear uh, PSP key, device guard, secure boot. So they gave you basically that um, option there, but Really, the only thing I care about is, I'm going to tell you, the 6G. I really don't care about anything else. I would love to have fan curves. Uh, you know, eventually that's going to come out. I would love to have gyroscopes finally enabled on this without having mods or anything like that. And that would be pretty freaking cool if they worked on that, uh, which they are, apparently. Uh, I don't know when the hell they're going to release that. And, of course, um, you know, what I'm waiting for right now is for the dead zones to be... Uh, fixed on this damn on this thing so it's pretty freaking cool wow I'm trying to make it stand here and uh yeah that's pretty much it guys so you could finally do this this is an official release you could put it on 6g and not care and everything's going to be good everything's going to run perfectly <laughs> And uh, pretty much just a new and improved official BIOS. So really nice. I love the fact that they're releasing it earlier than they claim they will. And then suddenly December 7th, we get uh, an update on that. I was meaning to do a review for you guys, but I, I always like testing 
uh, the things before they just release because I know they're Microsoft. If you saw my uh, older videos, Microsoft when they released Windows, you know Windows 11, a lot of these updates came out and these you know YouTubers would just pump them out and say they did an update without testing anything. And then I of course saw tests and uh, you know I taught you guys how to disable Cortana. I taught you guys how to disable a lot of things on there uh, that they they started to add things even because they knew people were disabling Cortana and I showed you guys how to disable those things so i just kind of wanted to see what the heck this thing was made of and i'm telling you i mean i already had stability so kudos to lenovo i already had stability without this i don't even need this but it's good that they give you these options and i really dig it uh but uh you know it the games are already running very fluid i'm getting all my games running at great speeds and you know emulation and you know my pc games all of these cool stuff are being able to run. I was just playing Elden Ring, and it looks absolutely remarkable. I have a 43-inch monitor with HDR, and I got to tell you guys, I like the way it looks on this screen better than it does on there. So, I mean, that tells you a lot. It just looks really, really beautiful. And it's like I'm, I, I just feel great playing Shadows of Mordor and Elden Ring on this thing with God of War 4. So I'm, I'm having the time of my life here. I hope you guys are having the same. Anyways, if you guys like what you see, like, subscribe, hit that bell button. As uh, you know, as always, as I say, guys, just word of mouth, and we're on our way to the road to 10,000. So share it with everybody you know. Make the family grow. Comment down below. Um, have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye. And let me know what you guys think down there if uh, in the comments. I definitely want to hear what you guys have to say. Um, are you? Did you benefit from this at all? I know it's nice to have, but I'm just wondering if you guys benefited at all from any of these. With me, it was already stable. I'm just looking for gyros. I'm looking for a lot of things. Uh, you know, the dead zones. I'm looking for fan curves. Those are the things I'm actually looking for that uh, is a showstopper, and that's really what I wanted. But um. It's nice to know there's they're they're consistent and their timeline is showing that they're going to be consistent with updates and they're not just giving up on it. I just thought even though Lenovo is a great, you know, a great great company for laptops, I I I'm always going to say this like a broken record. I thought because they came out with something like this every, you know, every month, every 6 months just like they release another laptop or every year or whatnot, they're just going to do away with this and not care anymore, but they're updating they're playing the game the right way, and I really dig this, and I hope you guys are having a great time with the system. The more they add to it, the more I'm loving this. I just need my gyros, damn it. I need my gyros. <laughs> Anyways, let me know what you guys think. Like, subscribe, hit that bell button. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye. As always, guys, if you like what you see, self-funded here, be sure to check out all my other uh, stuff from mini-series to unboxings to technology, you know and uh, Nintendo reviews and 3D printer uh, reviews and all that good stuff. If you like what you see, the only way you can help the channel is by liking uh, this video, subscribing, and hitting that bell button. As many more cool videos to come, definitely want you guys in it, and I want, to, I want you guys to be vocal. Definitely comment down below. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye.